What is going on all you minties out there? This is the Uncanny Omar from Near Mint Condition. And today, join me as I take an advanced look at Daredevil by Brian Michael Bendis, Omnibus Volume 2. Please stay tuned. Okay, so before we get started, I'd like to thank David Gabriel and the folks at Marvel for sending us an advanced copy of this Omnibus. Now, I've done an overview of Omnibus Volume 1. This one comes out in January. And then this volume right here comes out on February 12th. Now let's do a quick little comparison. These are both reprints of Omnis that have been out of print for quite a while. So here's what the spines look like. Then of course the back showing what all is collected in each of the books. You can probably tell that volume two is a little bit thinner. Uh, now this material has been collected before in trade paperbacks. Let's go ahead and look at it without the dust jacket. Um, as I was saying, it's been collected in trade paperbacks, it's been collected in oversized hardcovers. As a matter of fact, these oversized hardcovers right here. When I was doing the Daredevil reading order last week, I mentioned that the material was also collected in these oversized hardcovers, which are as tall as an omnibus, but also have been out of print. Now these books right here, these Omnis, let's go ahead and crack it open. Let's go ahead and show that image first. This beautiful Alex Maleev image of Daredevil and Black Widow. Now these particular Omnis have been out of print for a long time. They used to go for a lot of money on the third party. So we are really blessed that the fine folks at Marvel, these fine folks here, uh, decided to reprint this. So this is very exciting because, like I said, these books have been out of print for a long time. And if you're a collector of omnibus format books, then, I mean, seriously, I don't think you could get it less for, than $200 for volume one. So now, you know, they'll be available at retail or wherever you choose to get them. So let's look a little bit at the artwork here and talk about what it collects. So one of the things I do want to point out with this video, too, is that this is just a reprint of the original printing of the book. Um, nothing has been added, nothing has been taken away. So just keep that in mind because I've had a lot of questions like, are they gonna add Daredevil Ninja? Are they gonna add Daredevil End of Days? No, so let me tell you, oh, there's that beautiful image from the board. Okay, so this collects Daredevil 61 through 81. Um, what if a certain character had lived? I'm not going to say who that character is because that would really, really spoil one of the uh, biggest uh, turning points in Daredevil's life. And if you've never read it, I don't want to reveal what that collects. And then Ultimate Marvel Team-Up 6 and 8. Ultimate Marvel Team-Up, how do I describe it? It takes place in the Ultimate Universe. So it is not in continuity. It is not in the 616 universe. And I always found it interesting, I do want to talk about this issue, that they decided to collect that within these pages. Of course, I was early on in the collected editions department times too. Maybe they just want to collect everything by Bendis. This is a really great anniversary issue right here, by the way. This serves as Daredevil's 40th anniversary and Brian Michael Bendis, by the way, Alex Maleev is the main artist on this with Matt Hollingworth on colors and then the legendary Dave Stewart on colors. Now, issue 65, Alex Maleev is joined by different artists that have either drawn Daredevil or have just worked for Marvel Studios. Uh, so you, you have people like Carrie Andrews, uh, P. Craig Russell, Michael Oming, and yeah, I always enjoy this issue. I like when different artists uh, come in. Chris Bacalo, Bacalo, and actually he draws a couple pages here that spoil something, so I have to skip ahead a little bit. Uh, you have David Finch, you have Jay Lee, Frank Quietly drawing splash pages, and then back to Alex Maleev. I love anniversary issues like this. Uh, here's some more. So as I talked about in the first volume, Brian Michael Bendis was able to take this character of Matt Murdock and Daredevil and completely make him into more of a realistic, streetwise kind of superhero. And it's been done in the past before, but I don't think to this extreme, rather. Uh, but, you know, we can all sit here and argue as to what the best run of Daredevil was, because everybody's opinion is different. This is the this is one of my favorite issues, actually. Um, 
but we can't deny the fact that, despite how we feel about Bendis, this was one of the best-selling runs and one of the best Daredevil runs. Uh, and, you know, his storytelling, his type of storytelling isn't for everybody, but he got a lot of people interested in the character. Uh, coming off of the pages of Sam and Twitch, you know, starting off as an independent writer and artist. We all forget how much uh, he used to draw. But it's just pretty interesting to see him just come in and take over, you know, Ultimate Spider-Man and then eventually Daredevil. Now the guy's over at DC drawing or writing Superman. So this particular volume has 656 pages, by the way. It retails for $99, just like volume one and just like the original printing. Now, I don't want to flip too much through here. Let's get to the back for the extras. But before we get to the extras, here is the farewell to Daredevil letter that Brian Michael Bendis originally wrote in 2006 in his final issue. Uh, here is the What If issue drawn by Michael Lark. And then back here is where they put the Marvel team-ups. Like, again, this is Ultimate Marvel team-up. It takes place in the Ultimate Universe, not in the 616 Universe. So it can get a little confusing uh, if you are used to the character of the 616 Universe. Now, this... Is all drawn by Bill Sienkiewicz, wonderful artist. And let me see, I think the Enough Said issue script is back here. Okay, yeah, we have some script. There wasn't a lot of um, variant covers back then. Unused cover designs, alternate covers. Actually, that kind of looks like Emma Frost right there when she was uh, donning her Black Queen outfit. I know she's the White Queen, but just, you know, for a short while. Here are some cover inks. And then cover pieces here. This is a cover process. Oh, that, that's pretty cool. I didn't know he started drawing uh, him as Matt Murdock and then eventually drawing him as uh, Daredevil. That's really cool. Alternate cover designs here. We have Echo. This is uh, Alex Maleev watercolors. And the last watercolor there. Let's look at this binding now. So you could probably tell as I was turning the pages, it is sewn binding, and there is that eye that we want to see. The ribbon was fine, the book laid over really nice as we were turning the pages. It's exactly what we want to see for a book this big. Now remember, when the book comes out, you can order it from CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for brand new graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off cover price. Cheap Graphic Novels prides itself in packaging your books so they arrive safely and in excellent condition, as well as prompt and helpful service. Cheap Graphic Novels Black Friday sale is continuing all through December, so there's still time to save up to 95% off thousands of books. Additional books will be added throughout the month, so be sure to check back often and stay tuned to CGN on social media to be the first to know when the new books have been added to the sale. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with the kind of deep discounts, quality shipping, and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. So that was all the content of the book, the binding, and of course, where else you can find the material collected in this edition. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe button. Remember to hit that notifications button so you know when our videos are going live. We can be found on Patreon if you enjoy the content of this channel and want to support us that way. That would be awesome. All that information is in the description down below of the video. And remember, if it's classy and cool, it must be near mint.